Zimbabwe is committed to protecting children's rights through robust legislation which will create a safe and conducive environment for their growth. The pledge was made by Vice President Constantino Chuenga during a UNICEF tour of Baitbridge to celebrate the United Nations World Children's Day, which falls on November 20 annually. Speaking during the commemorations held in Baitbridge recently, Vice President Chuenga said government was committed to promoting child rights and has therefore put in place a legal framework to promote the rights. The government of Zimbabwe remains committed to the implementation of its obligations under the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child and the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. But we have always had the protection, provision, and promotion of children's rights at the core of our developmental trajectory. Government has demonstrated this commitment by ratifying the convention and its accompanying protocols, as well as the African Children's Charter. In 2013, Zimbabwe took a bold step on the implementation of child rights by incorporating a Bill of Rights for Children in the supreme law of the country. As such, Zimbabwe now has a strong child protection legal policy and institutional framework. The Constitution of Zimbabwe has a progressive declaration of rights which provides for the protection of children's rights under Section 81. UNICEF country representative Tajudin Oewale, leading the delegation, called on respecting the guiding principles which are aimed at ensuring children's rights are fully realized. This is the most comprehensive, the most inclusive, and the most useful tool to ensure that all the rights of children are realized. And for us as UNICEF, this is our guiding principle with everything that we do. So every year, everywhere, with every children, we celebrate the 20th of November as it was Children's Day. Child President Navu Mavu applauded African governments for recognizing the importance of including children in decision-making processes, saying young people are now being given a chance to sit at tables where their voices are being heard instead of being treated like waiters. Allow me to applaud the heads of state and their representatives that were present at the commemoration for recognizing the importance of including children in decision-making processes. By providing us with a seat at the table through junior parliaments, junior councils, and other forms of child-led groups, they have shown that our voices matter and our perspectives are valued. In a country where children are failing to access quality education, while others are being forced into early childhood marriages and reported cases of drug and substance abuse, Mavu said he would be using his position to shine the light on these issues so that they are addressed. They also expressed concerns about the lack of education opportunities, early pregnancies, drug and substance abuse, and the exploitation of children with disabilities. Both as the child president of Zimbabwe, I assure you that we will address these issues and work towards a brighter future for every child. Speaking to the media, the children expressed their knowledge of their rights as they celebrated their International Day. World Children's Day is about celebrating children's rights. My name is Mpoku Shekaina. World Children's Day is a day of celebrating children and their rights. One child right is to good education. My name is Sean Shava. Today is World Children's Day, the day that people celebrate children's rights. And I, and I know one right, and this is the right to shelter. Every year on the 20th of November, the world turns blue as a symbol for the call for attention to continue being focused on the rights of children from all corners of the world. Children take over and use their voices to advocate for their rights. Reporting for HSTV News, Kelly Mabaire, Bait Bridge.